Two at five, a new Atlanta school hopes to serve as a, a solution for young kids out there. Many are battling homelessness and crime, and they lack the basic essentials like food and clothing. Joe Ripley takes us to the Frederick Douglass ninth grade STEAM Academy, where the hope is to break barriers and spark change. Because mice, rabbits, cats, and dogs. You just get more comfortable in. Good job. Okay, you, get to, you get to be around people that's your age. High school can be hard. It's easy to get in trouble, but it's hard to get out. Skipping class, hanging out with the wrong crowd, not doing your work. Just really just like stuff like that, but I got too much going on, so I can't do it. Freshmen like John Wilson make it their mission to find a focus. His is football. Around 300 students attend the Frederick Douglass ninth grade STEAM Academy. The school is just now in its first year, only going for about a month now. That's the idea behind the school, to separate the freshmen from the upperclassmen at the Douglass main campus. I'm gonna get her. Principal Forestella Taylor says there used to be up to 20 fights a day. Attendance was around 75% and the graduation rate at Douglass was 69% this year. Taylor says students regularly have to battle through barriers like homelessness, a lack of food and toxic home lives. Many of our ninth graders were concerned about um, the gang activity. They were concerned about the fights. They were concerned about being around older kids. Um, and so this opportunity removed all of that. She's already noted a 2% increase in attendance so far this year. And with two dedicated counselors, a social worker and graduation coach, she says change will come even if it doesn't happen overnight. It's not going to be today. It's not going to be tomorrow. But definitely we are looking at a greater Douglas in 2026. Wilson plans to be part of that graduating class that sparks change. Prove a whole bunch of people wrong. So a lot of people still doubt me, like to this day, a lot of people still doubt me. So I can't do certain stuff. So you gotta show them. In Atlanta, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News. A very interesting approach there. And you yeah. know, that young man said something very profound. He said, it's easy to get in trouble, yeah. but it's hard to get out. And I think that stopping that cycle right there for these young people can be incredible for their life trajectory. Absolutely, they just need to get into the right circle of influence for them to have the opportunities that they're looking for and they're gonna have a better chance. And we hope the best for them.